Good morning. Whoa. Good morning, everybody. So for the playback, welcome back. It's been a month since we did a live workout. Um, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing really well. Um, so for today's workout, it is a full body workout, um, but we are gonna use some weights today. So you'll have the option to go heavier or lighter. I'm gonna stick around eight pounds, um, but it's gonna be a lot of shoulder stuff with the weights. So um, probably five to eight if you do a lot of upper body workouts, maybe up to 10. Um, same format, three sections of 10 minutes, um, and then warm up and a cool down. So same as we've always done. I also just noticed that this is the same outfit I wore for the last time. <laughs> I just looked at my thumbnail for the last live. This is the same top and bra. Obviously, I know what I like to wear. And you changed since. I've changed since. Oh yeah, I, yes. I have not been wearing this for a month, I promise. Although I do pretty much live in workout clothes. All right, so we'll get started in about two minutes. Again, we'll start with our five minute warm up. Um, I will give you guys modifications today. Just the last circuit is has some jumping in it. Um, so I'll give you guys the modifications for that. Pretty much everything else you'll be able to do. And you don't need the weights if you, um, if you don't have them. You can obviously do everything without any weights. Really? <laughs> this is not about training weights. You guys. This is just what you have to deal with when you work out here. That's fine. I think I'm gonna take this off so I don't have the same <laughs> outfit. Yeah. Just to help people distinguish between videos. There we go. Now I have a different outfit on. <laughs> All right. We get started in about one minute. This actually. Huh? Oh, no. I just don't have room for the timer. Um, also, there's been a ton of construction going on outside our house, so if you guys have music, please turn it up because obviously we can't put on our music, but you can, so you can drown out some of that noise if you hear it. All right, you guys ready to warm up? Let me get my Warm up. Three, two, one. All right. One. Exercise one. Here we go. So we're gonna do a squat at the bottom. We're gonna do a clam, stand up, heel raise. So we're gonna combine three movements. Squat, clam, stand up, heel raise. Starting to warm up all these muscles we're gonna to need today. Stand, heel raise. That's halfway. I've been on kind of vacation for a while and really out of my routine, so I really haven't been doing these workouts a ton recently, or they've been really sporadic, so it's going to be nice to get back into it today. Three, two, one, rest. All right, next one is our hip hinge with our arm raise. Practice that hip hinge motion, get those hammies going, Three, and get those arms two, moving a little one. bit. Exercise two. So we're hinging, butt goes straight back, arms come up, get a nice reach, and then stand up tall. This hip hinge motion is really important. 
not just for working out, but really in everyday life to be able to move your hips separate from your core. They should be able to move independently. This should be able to stabilize. That's halfway. As your hips move. So this motion is hard for you to do. That's something you really should practice, get better at. You guys just all up in Claire's face. Oh, I know. Three, <laughs> two, one, rest. All right, lateral lunge, overhead reach. It's gonna smart, start stinking over there. Three, too, Nora's breath two, really one, <laughs> exercise three. Lunge, big reach, really stretch out that side. You can hang out a little bit longer in that stretch before you switch. Can you say hi to everybody? Dun, dun, dun. Lunge, reach. Lunge, That's halfway. Reach. <laughs> hi. Lunge, reach. Say hi, everybody. We missed you. <laughs> Super Ricky. Super girl. So I've been really busy playing at my grandma's house, finding Three, all the dishes. Three, two, one, rest. All right, double leg landing just to prep for that last circuit. So remember, we're up on our toes. Three, Coming down, shooting our two, butt back, landing one, really strong. Exercise four. Up on your toes, shoot the butt back, land really strong. Up on your toes and land. Your core stays nice and tight as you land. Try to keep your chest up as you land so you shouldn't be landing with your body parallel to the ground. That's halfway. Nice and tall and strong. Your knees should be staying pretty straight. You shouldn't be knocking in when you land. You want this motion to be really strong so Three, that when you two, do jump, one, rest. that pattern will already be ingrained in your body. All right, last one, we're gonna do half high knees, half butt kicks. So we'll Three, switch halfway through. Two, one, Great. exercise five. Here we go, high knees first. Just get that heart rate going a little bit. Like little flicker balls. <laughs> Are you a dog? And switch to butt kicks. That's halfway. <laughs> what are you doing? You confused? Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. All right, nice job. Warm up done. Let me switch my timers. All right, so let me go through the exercises for the first circuit. So you'll need your weights. Go as heavy as you can while be able, being able to complete the full set. So. You can always, too, drop down to lighter weight if you feel like you can't keep the correct form going through the exercises. Okay, so we're gonna combo a lot of moves here. So first one's a back lunge with a lateral raise. So nice strong back lunge. When we come up, we'll do our lateral raise, switch legs, lateral raise. Your lateral raise, it shouldn't be a shoulder hike to bring those weights up. Your shoulder stays in that same position and then you're only coming up to shoulder height, not higher. Second exercise is a lateral lunge with, 
lunge with the forward raise. So we're gonna stay in the wide-legged position. Weights are gonna be in front of you. You're gonna lunge, lift, switch to the other side. Lunge, lift, and then switch. When you're lifting, right other side, you're not arched lifting like this. Chest is up, back is flat, and shoulders are, again, staying down. They are lifting as you lift the weights. Third exercise, RDL with a row. So weights are gonna be in front of you. This is that hip hinge motion, RDL. At the bottom of the RDL, we'll row. Elbows stay tucked in, pull back, and then we'll stand back up. RDL, row, stand back up. Fourth is a curtsy with a bicep curl. So curtsy lunge, nice and strong. When we get back to the middle, we'll bicep curl, curtsy, bicep curl. That bicep curl should be full range. So all the way from extension to flexion. So not this half motion. We're going through our full range of motion of that bicep. Last one is a squat pause. So we're gonna be pausing at every, at the midpoint and the end points of the squat. So no arm movement for this one. It's just going to be holding the weights up here, squat at the mid, squat at the bottom, squat at the mid, pause at the top. I mean pause, not squat. So we're just pausing, 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 okay? And that's the first round. I'm out of breath shocking, so that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. You got the fives? Yeah, we can trade. I think I'll be good for that. The second circuit, I might have to okay. use a five. All right, you guys ready for this? Am I ready for this? I don't know. All right, so back lunge to lateral, ra lateral raise is first. Body, you yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Exercise one. All right, back lunge, raise, and then just switch. Core is nice and tight. When you combine movements, you really gotta make sure each movement itself has really good form. So watch what your legs are doing. You're keeping them nice and straight. Engage your core. That's halfway. Have a nice strong position of your upper body as well. Three, two, one, rest. That's what I figured is like, I do these less often now, so like, they gotta be good. I get it. Yeah. Whew. I know I'm tired. Three, two, one, exercise one. And we can't open the windows and get airflow because the construction is literally both houses right outside our window. That's hot. Yeah. It's like hot yoga or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like lifting weights and <laughs> jumping. That's <laughs> halfway. In a heated room. Three, two. One, rest. Nice job. So now we're gonna do the lateral lunge and a forward raise. So really check your form with this one. Remember top and bottom need to have good. Three, two, one. Good form separately. Exercise two. So weights are in front of you. Lateral lunge, lift, and then switch sides. I'll show you from the side. So your lateral lunge. Remember, hips go straight back. You're not lunging with your knee. We're doing that hip hinge motion. Hips coming back. Chest is still up. That's you halfway. Lift. So you're not down here trying to lift and you're not lifting with your back, okay? Lunge, lift. I know everybody's coming forward right now. Shift those hips back. Everybody just lean into your heel a little bit rather than your toes. Three. Two, one, rest. 
Can I shout? I gotta stop talking so much. <laughs> it's good core. Yeah. It's good core. I'm so good. Three, two, one. Exercise two. Here we go. Hips back, raise, and then switch. What do you think, Ricky? That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. All right, next one is curtsy with a bicep curl. So nice strong curtsy lunge. So remember with our curtsy, watch that front knee that it isn't collapsing in. Three, it's still staying two, pointing straight. One. Exercise three. So curtsy, when we come back to the top, a full range bicep curl, and then other side, full range. No half bicep curls in this house. That's halfway. Core is nice and tight. Make sure it's helping you stabilize. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. I don't lift my arms very much. My arms are tired. I'm gonna lift me. Sore here. The front? Yeah. Three, two, kind of weird. one, <laughs> exercise three. From what? Tennis. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm like, that part shouldn't be sore during these exercises. But tennis, yeah. Yeah. But don't let that get, you don't want that to turn into tennis elbow. I'm not that much of a pro. <laughs> That's halfway. Remember to also engage those upper back muscles as well. So your shoulders shouldn't be slouching forward at all when you lift. They should be pinched behind you. Remember those back muscles are your shoulder stabilizers. Three. So they're two, the core of your shoulder. One. Rest. So they should be engaged when you do arm exercises. All right. Next one, RDL plus row. Oops, I skipped that one. That's supposed to be three. But three, RDL, two, row, one, and then exercise up. four. Remember this hip hinge, the weight stays close to you. Row and stand back up, squeezing that butt. Hinge, row, and stand back up. So your hinge, your back does not move. It's your hip that's moving, okay? Pinch your shoulder that's blades halfway. and come back up. It really does feel like a hot yoga room. Yeah, it's like slightly humid. Yeah, I like it. I guess you're used to that with Three, hot Three, two, one. Rest. In a minute, but yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's been a while. Sweating. Three, two, one. Exercise four. Here we go. Hinge, row, and stand back up. Squeeze that butt. That's halfway. Good job, guys. Don't worry about how low you go with the RDL. You're gonna go as far as your hamstrings let you. Three, two, one. 
Rest. Nice job. All right, last one is the squat pause. So we're putting our weights up at our shoulders. You don't have to put it up at your shoulders. You can hold it at your side too. Three, two, one. Exercise so five. We're squatting, pause mid range, pause bottom, pause mid range, pause at the top. You can go your own pace, but make sure you're getting a nice pause, a true pause at each point. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. I need to tell you. All right, last exercise in this first round. Really good form with that squat. Three, two, one, exercise five. So from the side, butt goes back, chest stays up for the squat. Only go as low down as your chest is staying up. Your chest position really shouldn't change when you're doing a squat. Because your upper body is just stabilizing. That's halfway. And your legs are doing the moving. The pause at the top helps me remember to squeeze my butt. Yeah, I always forget that. Yeah, the pauses just add that little Three, bit two, of extra one. Your timer is complete. For those muscles. Ooh. Nice job. Woo, first round done. Grab a little sip of water. Some little hydrate. Spill all over myself. Okay, so circuit two is a core circuit. So we're gonna come down to the floor. Hi everybody. This is where I stay when mom's doing exercises. Oh, yeah. Okay. So core circuit. You will still need your weights for this. First exercise is a dumbbell press. Um, sorry, is a dead bug single arm press. So for this one, you if you have two weights and it feels easy just with one, I would add them both to one side if you can, just to make it a little bit harder. I think you guys will be able to do it like this. So this is gonna look like this. So you guys know our dead bug position. We start here, but instead of moving opposite arms, you're just gonna press with the dumbbell for both sides. We're gonna switch um, arms for each 45 seconds, but that one arm is gonna be getting a lot of the work. This is also a good core stability exercise because it's really making you off weight. Um, you're having to stabilize with that off weight. Second exercise is our bear pull through. So our bear position, we're on our hands and knees like this, and then we are gonna pull the weight through without moving your upper body. So you're balancing that bottle of girl. <laughs> you're balancing that cup of water on your back. That's how stable your low back should be. If you feel like that's too difficult, practice with just your knees on the ground. You could even do it in plank position if you want to, but try it in there and see if you can do it that way. Next exercise is supine knee tuck. So Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ka, 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 ka. Bye. Okay. So weight is up here. You can use one weight or two, whatever you feel comfortable. Belly button to spine. Your back is flat on the ground. You're extending your legs and then getting a little bit of a tuck at the top. Extend. Tuck. 
extend. So your extension is gonna be based on your stability. So if you can only extend with your legs up here while keeping your back on the ground, then that's fine. Extend, tuck, extend, or if you can do it all the way from the bottom, then that's great. But only go as far as your back stays flat on the ground. Next exercise is side plank fly. This is where I might need a five. So you're in a side plank position. Okay, I'm gonna go from knee, top leg straight, but you can go both legs bent. You can also go from a side plank position. I'm going from here because this weight might be heavy. So you're in a nice strong side plank and then you're going to do a fly from there, okay? So this is the upper back, shoulder, and core exercise. Again, like you might have to switch to lower weight for this one because this one is difficult. Um, and then the last one is a dead bug chest fly. So we're back into our dead bug start position. And then we're going to, every time the leg goes out, you're going to open your arms, controlled, and do a chest fly. Okay? And that's the core section. You guys ready? Let's do it. Warm up. All right, first one is the single arm dead bug press. So you can both both weights in one arm or start with one weight. Start in your dead bug position. Yes. Back Three, is flat to the ground. Two, one, exercise one. Here we go. Every time a leg goes out, a arm, the arm comes down to do the press. <laughs> is she sitting on you? This is not a big Oh, wow, Ricky. Ricky. Lucky, Ricky. Really stabilize that core. No, I didn't want you to come here. I said you were lucky. To be <laughs> That's ready. halfway. Are you just cleaning all the sweat off me? <laughs> gross, gross. <laughs> Good job, guys. Three, two, one, rest. And then we'll switch to the other side. Remember, you guys don't have to use weights either. You can totally do this without any weight. Three, yes. two, oh, one. No. Here we go. Exercise one. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yes. My coach? Keep that back press to the ground. Belly button to the floor. That's halfway. Bear position, you can be in kneeling plank, Three, full plank. Two, one. Exercise two. Here we go. Pull through and then switch. You're balancing that glass of water on your back. So really think before you move that weight, stabilize, don't move. Figure out how your body needs to do that. That's halfway. A lot of times it's pressing into that opposite. So if I'm moving the weight to my left, I'm really gonna have to push in that left foot in that right hand to be able to stabilize that motion. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. So your core is probably strong enough to be able to do this relatively well. Sometimes it's your brain that needs to connect. What am I supposed to Three, stabilize two, to be able to offset one. that unbalanced Exercise two. position? Keep those butts down too. I don't see any of these this happening. 
Nice and flat. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, supine knee tuck. So we still have one weight. Actually, you could do two if you really wanted. Actually, I might do two. Three, two, Weights are up here. One, exercise three. You're extending, and then at the top, you're doing a little bit of a tuck. With key. <laughs> Extend and tuck. And remember, your extension is only as far as your back does not lift up. Your back stays nice and pressed to the ground. So if you're up here, then I'm okay with that. That's halfway. As long as your back is pressed. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Three, two, Here we go. one, exercise three. Extend and lift. That's halfway. Good job, guys. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, nice job. Yeah. All right, the side plank fly. I'm gonna try it with this one. Okay, we'll see how this goes. So Three, we're in our side plank position. Two, one, exercise Nice four. straight position of your core, and then lift using those upper back muscles to help pull you back. It shouldn't just be your arm doing this motion, that upper back, that shoulder blade is helping pull this weight. Your arm is gonna get really tired if it's just your posterior delt, some of those smaller shoulder muscles doing all the work. Oh baby. Three, two, one, oh. rest. Oh, God. I don't know how you did that for me. <laughs> Other side. Three, two, one, exercise four. Here we go. Pull with that shoulder blade. Core stay nice and tight. That's halfway. Ooh. I'm shaking. Uh huh. Oh. Three, two, one more. One. Rest. Oh man. Oh. All right. Great. Great. Nice job. <laughs> Dead bug chest fly, last one in this section. So we're back in our dead bug position. Three. This time we're flying. Two, one. Exercise five. Arms, but nice and controlled. So as you come down, one leg comes out, and then come back up, and then switch. Remember, you gotta think about what your core is doing, but also what are your arms doing? Are you controlling this motion? 
Nice and slow. You're not letting your arms just fall. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. One more. Three, two, one. Here we one. go. Last one. Exercise five. That's halfway. Nice job, guys. Finish this section. Finish this section out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Ooh, nice job, you guys. I am dying. All right, let's move you back up. Last section is going to be some cardio. My hair is going crazy. So let's finish it out strong. We only have 10 more minutes left, so you guys can give it all you got for this last section. You will need the weight for the first exercise, but that's it. And you don't need have it but okay everybody fix your hair grab a sip of water Ricky is ready to go you ready Ricky yeah all right so first exercise is a goblet squat and then a squat jump so Goblet squat is the weight is close to you like this. However, when you want to hold it and you're coming straight down, holding the weight on your chest, okay? So it's going to look like this. Goblet squat, then we're leaving the weight down. Jump, squat, jump, squat, jump, okay? Next one is a walkout with four mountain climbers. So we're gonna walk out into plank. One, two, three, four. Walk back up. You don't have to stand all the way back up. You can stay in this kind of bent over hinge position. Walk back out. One, two, three, four. Come up and then we'll keep going. Third exercise, back lunge, high skip. Nice strong back lunge. Skip, we'll stay on one leg for a whole round. Then we'll go to the next leg. Fourth exercise, two plank jacks and a down dog, down dog tap. So it's gonna look like this. Two plank jacks are out, out, tap, tap, out, out, tap, tap, okay? Next exercise, five wall taps with a tuck jump. So we're not actually gonna touch the wall with the wall taps, but we're gonna imitate like we're touching the wall. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, five, and then a tuck jump. One, two, three, four, five, tuck jump, okay? If you wanna modify, I guess I didn't show you the modifications. I'll show you as we do it, but for the last one, you just always take out the jumping if you wanna modify. So one, two, three, four, five, tap, tap. One, two, three, four, five. Tap, tap, okay? I'll show you the modifications for the other ones as we go. You guys ready? Well, let's finish this out. 10 minutes. You got this, you can do anything for 10 minutes. Warm up. All right, grab your weight. So obviously the modification for this, you just take out the jump. You can still imitate Three, a jump squat two, without one. leaving Exercise the one. 
So goblet, leave it, jump, grab the weight again. Jump, grab the weight again. So if you want to take out the jump, you're just going to come up all the way onto your toes. You can even reach with your arms if you want to, but you're just not going to leave the ground. Okay? Everybody else? That's halfway. Goblet, jump, goblet, jump. Arm position's a little bit weird for this just because you're already with your arms in front of you, so don't worry so much about what your arms are doing for this, for the jump part. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. I guess it's turned to not so much a goblet, it's more of like a squat with a almost Three, a bicep curl. Two, one, exercise I one. I honestly don't care. I care more about like the fluidity of the motion and obviously your form. Really squeeze that booty. That's heavy. Huh? To squeeze your butt so much harder. Yeah. You'll get a lot more out of this if you think about what muscle you're trying to turn on. Three, on, guys. two, one, rest. Ooh, all right, you can put your weight away. So we're doing a walkout to four mountain climbers. No modification for this. Three. You guys can all do two, this one. One. Exercise two. Here we go. Walk out. One, two, three, four. Remember your mountain climbers. Your butt stays flat. You're in a plank position. Your butt isn't bouncing up and down when you do this. Take the mountain climbers slow if you feel like you're really wobbly or unstable. That's halfway. My coffee and water are really three, <laughs> two, one, rest. Can you hear that? Uh-uh. I'm going to do the same thing. Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes. Can you do mountain climbers? Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise two. Walk out. Nice and stable plank position before you go into your mountain climbers. <laughs> Get her, Ricky, get her. Get her. No, not me. Not me, get Claire. That's Guys. halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Whew. All right, back lunge, high skip. Really strong back lunge, really strong high kick. Go slow, be controlled. Three, two, one, exercise three. Nice and straight, drive, modification. You can come up to your toe, just don't leave the ground. Core's nice and tight. Your back lights in that back lunge are staying straight. They are wobbling, falling in. And as you push off to come into your high That's skip, halfway. you're also not letting that knee come in as you come up. It's staying nice and straight. You're turning on that outside booty to help stabilize that leg. Drive Three, your arms. Two, one, rest. Remember, arms are just like you're running. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Switch sides. Three, two, one, exercise three. 
Nice and strong and drive. Opposite arm, opposite leg. That's halfway. Good job, guys. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh. All right. Two plank jacks and a down dog tap. It's your down plank position. Plank jack is the feet go out and in, out and in. Three, tap, tap. Two, one, exercise four. So out in, out in, tap, tap. Come all the way back to your plank position. Out in, out in, tap, tap. When you do your plank jacks, your low back shouldn't be moving. Your core stays nice and tight. It's just your legs going That's in and halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. We're almost done, you guys. 30 minutes flies by. Three, a little more than 30 minutes. two, one. Here we go. Exercise four. Plank jack, plank jack, tap, tap. That's halfway. Three, guys. two, one, rest. Oh, all right, last one. Five wall taps and a tuck jump. Remember, if you're modifying, you just aren't leaving the ground. Your tuck jump Three, becomes a new tap. Two, one, exercise five. One, two, three, four, five. Tuck jump. One. Good job, guys. That's halfway. Three, two, one, Ooh. rest. Ah, nice job. One more round and we're done. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise five. Drop, guys. That's halfway. Finish it out. Twenty seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. Your timer is complete. Oh, walk it off, walk it off. Oh. Control your breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Slow exhale through the mouth.
Nice job, you guys. All right, nice job. How's everybody feeling? I'm tired. Oh, hey, Claire. Uh, hey. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. oh man. I feel like I haven't jumped in a while. My lungs. Oh, you guys ready to cool down? <clears throat> Let's cool it down. Hi, Ricky. Hi. You baby. Okay, okay. All right, let's start in down dog position. <laughs> Hi, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's start in down dog and pedal those feet out. Nora, your breath stinks. All right, bring that right foot forward. Drop that back knee and come up into half kneeling. Hey guys. Square your hips up so they're both facing forward. Pull your belly button in and lean forward a little bit. Grab that back leg if you can. Still pull that left hip forward. Engage that core. Drop that back leg and reach over that right side. Come on into that runner's lunge, half runner's lunge. And then here, I just want you to push that knee out. Stretch that groin and that hip flexor at the same time. Just kind of keep taking those deep breaths through these. Allow your body to relax a little bit more into that position. And then from here, bring that right arm up to the sky. Come on down and switch left arm up to the sky. Walk that right foot over and drop down into pigeon. Remember in pigeon, feel your own resistance, work through it, move through that position. If you wanna stay still, you can, but you know me, I like to move through stretches. No. No, Nora. That's Nora. Not for you. What are you doing? Busted. <laughs> Busted. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. Coming back into down dog. Pedal it out. And then switch sides. Bring that left foot forward. Drop that back knee <clears throat> and then come up into half kneeling. Square up those hips, bring that right hip forward, belly button to spine. Lean forward a little bit. Lean forward from your hips, not from your back. And then grab that back leg if you can. Still square up those hips. Still engage your core. Drop that back leg, reach that right arm over, get a nice big stretch of that side, that hip flexor. Come on 
on down to the runner's lunge and then just push that knee out stretch that groin that hip of the opposite side I'm gonna just take some deep breaths try to relax into these stretches regulate your breathing And then from here, left arm to the sky. And then switch, right arm to the sky. And then come on down, walk that left foot over and drop into pigeon. And move through it. Oh my God. I can't. <laughs> so much tighter. On that side? Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you always got to sit right there? What are you doing? No. All right, pedal it out one more time. on but I swear this was a new a new exercise this time <laughs> all right guys um, I will post this to the YouTube channel once it loads and yeah um, let's try to do this again next week but I'm gonna start calling these pop-up classes because I'm not sure when I'm there's no schedule these days so we'll do a pop-up class hopefully next week bye Claire hi wear a mask <laughs> bye <laughs>